Hey there pranksters, in this video I'm gonna show you five awesome pranks you can pull off on your friends using their shoes. Check it out. Alright pranksters, well besides the shoes, here are some of the things you're gonna need for these pranks. You probably already have these at home, but if not, you can easily get them at your local dollar store. All right, let's mess with your friend's shoelaces. Um, so in order for this prank to work, your friend's shoes need to have these uh, type of round shoelaces or oval. Um, so uh, if they do have these, then you're good to go. Okay, let's begin. Take a pair of scissors and below the, the plastic casing, uh, make a little incision so that you can actually stick something in there. And what I'm going to do is take the ink out of a pan and stick it inside the shoelace. So you're going to need to be a little patient with this and uh, slowly stick it in there because it gets tighter as you go. So keep going until you have inserted the whole thing in there. We're going to have to fast forward this, uh, this clip right here because it could take a little bit. Once you have pretty much the whole thing in there, uh, you can also remove the uh, tip and keep going until it's all in there and at this point you can either uh, sew it but you don't really need to because it'll actually be pretty hard to spot so uh, as you can see it doesn't look it looks like a normal shoelace right except that it's it's pretty stiff and that's it just leave it somewhere and when your friend puts on his shoe and obviously when he's about to tie it he won't be able to because the shoelace won't allow him to so um, he'll try to figure out what's wrong with it but honestly this is not a big prank but it's it's enough to mess with your friends so go ahead and try it out uh, these next two pranks are a bit explosive so uh, grab your friend's shoe right if it's an athletic shoe even better because you're gonna need the spaces uh, on the bottom of the shoe all right first we're gonna need some party snaps so get a few and with tape stick them on the bottom of the shoe so that's what we're gonna do right now all right so try to stick them in between the the spaces so that it it's, uh, it's not that noticeable when your friend puts on his shoe um, obviously he won't notice that the party snaps are there until he puts weight on the shoe by then he'll be in for a surprise so let's uh, get this prank set up Try to distribute the party snaps evenly, just like I'm doing right here. All right, so here's a few that I've stuck on the bottom of the shoe. Uh, you can put the shoe down and it won't pop them, obviously, until there's weight on it. So just put it back where it goes, and when your friend puts it on, he's gonna add weight to the shoe and they're gonna pop. So let me give you a little demo on that. I can't really feel them right now, that they're on the bottom so your friend won't either especially if he's tying his shoe on carpet but when he stands up he's gonna hear that noise uh, he's gonna be like what the hell did I just step on so those are the results pranksters what do you guys think who are you gonna try these on uh, so I'm gonna use the same shoe again for this next prank now you're gonna need one of these which is a, a party popper uh, you guys know the drill, right? You got, you simply gotta take out the little explosive inside. So once you've taken out the little explosive, um, you're gonna tie it on the shoelace, which is the part that's inside the shoe. So pull on the shoelace and then tie it on there. Now it only works if the shoe, uh, the shoelace hole is really snug. Alright, so we've just set up this booby trap. Try to hide the explosive like this so that it's not visible. As you can tell, it looks like a normal shoe. Except for this side, the shoelace sticks out more than this one. So when your friend puts it on, he's going to notice that the shoe is a little bit loose. And when he tries to tie both shoelaces, here's what's going to happen. 
I don't know if the camera picked it up, but it's really loud in person, uh, so try it out because it will scare the hell out of them. The following two pranks are pretty evil, so you're gonna have to do them on somebody who you're trying to get payback for something that they did to you. So uh, grab their shoe and you're gonna take out the insole from inside. So either it should come out gently or you're gonna have to pull on it till you tear it off. But you know, you get it out and the inside should look something like this, right? Now this is the part where you get creative because you're gonna have to put something inside um, and then cover it with the insole. So let's try it out with cereal first. So open the box. And um, I guess chips could also work for this. Um, now take the, the box of cereal and pour some inside. Uh, the smaller the cereal the better with the cereal inside cover it with the insole and perfect uh, you can't notice a thing and when they put the shoe on it's gonna sound a little bit crunchy if it was me and I, I fell for this prank I would look inside and sure enough the cereal is already crushed so it's gonna be even messier to take out and yes pranksters I just read my glove now, okay, this, this demonstration isn't that messed up, but this next one is. So instead of cereal, you're gonna put some shaving cream inside the shoe, but try to spread it out evenly so that it's not noticeable. So this is perfect. Um, and then put the insole inside. Okay, and if, if, if for example, uh, some of the shaving cream sticks out, just uh, try to get it so that your victim doesn't notice it. So this is how the shoe would look. Uh, it looks normal, right? Very normal, except for the part when they put on the shoe, and once they uh, stick their foot in there and apply some weight on it, that's when they're gonna notice the shaving cream. They take out their foot and, uh, as you can see, it's all in there. They're gonna be surprised and uh, so obviously they're gonna take out the whole thing and notice that there's more shaving cream underneath and it's definitely gonna piss them off big time. I know it would piss me off. For this last prank, you're gonna need a water balloon like this one. Uh, try to keep it small because you're gonna stick it inside your victim's shoe. But before you do that, here's a few steps you need to do first. As I showed you in my last video on how to pop balloons, uh, you're gonna need a safety pin and uh, attach a string onto it. Now, with a safety pin opened, stick it onto the uh, balloon with some tape. So stick the pointy part on top of the balloon with uh, clear tape over it. All right, this is perfect. Uh, if, if you still don't know how to do it, please refer to my other video because I showed you how to do it there. But it's fairly simple, so anybody can do this. So once you have that set up, you're gonna stick the balloon inside the shoe. Careful though, try not to pull on the string because it will pop the balloon. So stick the balloon as far inside as you can. And with the, the rest of the string, you're gonna attach it to the tongue of the shoe. So I'm gonna tie the string onto this tag right here. Uh, but you can tie it anywhere you want. So once you have tied the string onto the tongue, try to tighten the, the shoelaces. By doing this, you're pretty much forcing your victim to actually open up the uh, loosen up the shoelaces and pull out the tongue. And when he pulls it out, I mean, you pretty much know what's gonna happen next, right? So this demo, I'm gonna do it over the sink because I learned my lesson from the other videos where I made a big mess. So uh, this time I don't really feel like cleaning up. So I'm gonna do this demonstration over the sink. So let's do it. So here's the demo as promised. So you can see when he pulls on the tongue, the uh, balloon pops and uh, he's just not gonna be able to put on the shoe unless he wears it uh, when it's wet, 
then it's perfect for him but yeah it's pretty messed up and there you have it pranksters one super evil prank now remember these are for payback only don't do them on somebody who doesn't deserve this you do this on people who deserve this kind of pranks so prank at your own risk Remember to give this video a thumbs up because I just ruined this shoe, which I've had for like four years and I don't want to mess it up, but I got to do it for you guys. So I appreciate you guys watching. Again, please give this video a thumbs up and as always, thanks for watching. Oh, damn. As you can see, it's uh, no fun. So this is what will happen next time your victim grabs a soda.